I've wanted to set up and give my honest review of this wallet for quite some time as it is completely different than any other cold storage crypto wallet on the market. And there's a lot of misconceptions and misinformation floating around the internet about it. I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of this crypto wallet, why it is different than anything else on the market and who I think it is ideal for. And you might be wondering to yourself, uh, that's a pretty thick box. LA was kind enough to send three of these bad boys out. One of them will be staying with me. The other two are going home with you guys. The first person to comment on this video will be getting one of these bad boys shipped out lickety split. And the other one, I'm gonna do a random poll of my subscriber base. Let's get this thing. So Bally has been in the hard wallet market since 2019, which by no means is a long time. However, their founder is actually Bobby Lee, who if you guys do a quick Google search on him, you'll find out that he has his roots pretty deep. Uh, I don't know if I should be doing that hand motion there. Pretty deep in the uh, cryptocurrency game since around 2010, 11 or so. He's very well versed in cryptocurrency. And basically, this was his solution to every other hard wallet on the market. Now, one of the major security concerns and one that I had myself is, well, you don't generate your key is that you don't actually generate your private and public keys. However, the way they actually work around that issue, pretty much the closest second to security that you can have in that aspect. Enough to where I trusted enough with my own cryptocurrency, but moreover than that, enough to actually recommend to my viewership. I don't mind if I get ripped off, but I'm not gonna blatantly promote a product that is gonna get my viewership. Uh, potentially ripped off. And this isn't that luckily. And if you guys know anything about my track record, I have been sent out dozens and dozens of products from controllers to electronics goods to crypto wallets. Um, but I always give a very, very bluntly honest critique. If there's any cons or areas of improvement for the company to work on with their next version or iteration of a product, I am of course gonna point that out. So first of all, getting the nitty gritty right out of the way, what the heck is this thing? Well, it is a hard wallet. It is a cold storage wallet, meaning it goes completely offline. And unlike other cryptocurrency wallets that have to be plugged into a computer or linked up with a mobile app in order to uh, actually use the device for transactions. This is completely cold storage. Now, the primary selling factor of this particular hard wallet would be its ease of use. This would be a great beginner's card, or this would be a great gift for somebody in your family that literally doesn't know much about cryptocurrency, but is interested and wants to uh, wet their beak, get a little taste of crypto, if you will. Um, this is perfect for that because setup is literally a breeze. You don't have to write down uh, recovery passphrases. You don't have to create an initial key. I'm going to cover how they handle that aspect. It is still quite safe, uh, but you don't have to uh, set up an initial key. You do not have to. There is no mandatory application you have to use. I will recommend uh, you installing the ballet app as it helps you buy, sell, exchange, trade your cryptocurrencies and manage what is on the card. But they do have a lot of security protocols in place to make sure that even though you do not generate your own private and public keys as they are already printed on the card, which for a lot of people, they're like, well, that's ridiculous. I was in that camp. I was in that camp until I did a little bit further research and found out exactly how that is handled. So your actual private key, which is covered and never seen by anybody and not stored on their end in any database or anything like that is actually generated by their team in Singapore, I wanna say, or Taiwan, Singapore. And then your actual passcode, which is the second part of that two-part equation to get your, get your money, your funds, that is generated by their team in Las Vegas. So basically they're in two separate geographic areas that never communicate with each other. They do not ever cross any information. So with only one part of that two part puzzle, they really can't do anything. So in that aspect, I do think this is a very, very close second, a very, very close second to the security that you would get out of uh, generating your own private key. Alrighty, so breaking into this bad boy again, this is a three pack. So I'm gonna leave two of these completely intact and we are just going to set up one of them. And I'm gonna go over some of the key features, most importantly, the security features, because with any cryptocurrency wallet, you know, cold storage, hot storage, online, offline, no matter what the type, the most important factor would obviously be the security, you know, ease of use and cool features like a touch screen and stuff like that are great. All right. This one's for the first commenter of this video. And this one's for a lucky subscriber that I'm going to randomly pull from a wheel of fortune. And this is mine. So it says right on the front world's easiest cryptocurrency. And that's kind of their whole uh, marketing ploy, I guess you would say. And, you know, they definitely do fit that bill. It is incredibly easy to use and set up. So the packaging, despite the fact that it is cardboard, is actually... Uh, Kind of nice, I'm not gonna lie, and I do think this would make a good gift. Now, the actual card itself is some very, very thick steel. This feels like some kind of a, you know, an American Express, you know, Amex Platinum card or something. Hopefully, you guys can see it's uh, very, very, it's very, very durable. Um, I'm actually 
pretty strong guy. I've been hitting the gym here and I can't bend this thing. So that's pretty awesome. That'd stop at least nine millimeter, if not 45 to the chest. So make sure you carry that in the front pocket there. Just kidding. Do not do that. It's not bulletproof. So as you can see, I'm showing you guys my code right now. This is your public key. So I can be showing this to you guys right now. Um, all you can do with that, and I would greatly appreciate it, is go ahead and send me some, uh, some cryptocurrency. Now underneath the sticker right here, which we are going to peel back, would be my private key. That is what I'm not going to show you guys. And with the combination of that, the private key that's underneath this flap. And then also when you scratch this off with your fingernail, it will reveal your passphrase. So that private key plus this passphrase here, which again are generated in two different geographic areas that never communicate. That is what is going to grant access to your account. This thing is super nice feeling. Now here's what I would strongly recommend you do with this wallet. Peel this sticker off and stick it onto, you know, one of your credit cards or something like that. And that is really all you need for people to send you cryptocurrency is this sticker right here. Now on this actual aluminum card here, which is very nice and might be, you know, cool flashing at the bar and whatnot, but you don't really want to do that because once you scratch this off, that's going to have your passphrase and your private key underneath there. So leave that at home in a safe or something where you would leave any other hard wallet. So a Trezor, Ledger device, etc. Uh, because you don't need that on you. That's that get, grants access to your account. So just take off the sticker and put it somewhere like in your wallet back down below, ladies. So you can draw a little memo back there. So if this is a gift or something, you can do that. Now, this also comes with a really nice little plastic case for it as well. So you baseball and Pokemon card collectors will know all about this, this is basically a protective sleeve for it to keep dust off it and whatnot. So if you're just gonna leave this at home uh, on display or something like that, you can use this little glass case uh, or plastic case, I should say, which is very, very nice. So some of the security features you wanna make sure are intact when you get this card to make sure it has not been tampered with is first of all, that this sticker with the QR code has not been peeled off because that is where your private card, is, uh, your private code is. You wanna make sure that there are zero uh, scratches at this passphrase scratch off. And you wanna make sure that all the serial numbers are still intact, which yes, indeedy they are. You've got that one there. You've got this one stamped on the steel there and you got another one right up there. Now, another little interesting security feature that I've never heard anybody else mention, I just discovered here recently, is if you use a UV light, the uh, Ballet B logo, the Ballet B logo over here, where my index finger is, as well as the words Bitcoin will actually illuminate if this is an authentic card. And that is really cool. I don't have a UV light on hand, but that is nice. Just turned on a third light. Hopefully it gives us a little bit better view of this unboxing station. That's some high quality YouTube for you guys. So this is the Ballet app over here. I have half a brain cell, unfortunately, but this is very, very easy to set up. You hit scan right here and you are able to grant access to your camera, scan the QR code, bam. And now you will see a digital representation or a virtual representation of my card. There it is. So now if I wanna receive, buy, exchange, or send any cryptocurrency, and again, just because this one uh, does have the physical Bitcoin logo on the front, this can actually support 90 plus coins. Now, a lot of the major coins, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, et cetera, are supported. Some of the popular coins right now that are not currently supported due to it not basically lining up with their security algorithms and security pro protocols would be Cardano ADA, and polka dot. So I know those are two hot coins right now. Um, so just something to keep in mind, those two are currently not supported. They're like one of them gamblers at the gas station holding up the line right now with the scratch offs. There is nothing more frustrating than you just trying to buy a, a, a quick beverage because you're parched and you're stuck behind some old lady whose skin looks like leather on an old football. Scratches, Scratches off her third scratch and sniff, sniff of the day. When you peel off the sticker, it is another security mechanism similar to uh, like your registration on our license plate. You can't really peel it off and steal it because it breaks off into like a million pieces. And this will leave this kind of waffle honeycomb material here. And that way you will know if this has been tampered with. So who exactly is this hard wallet for? As I hit my microphone. First of all, I would say anybody new to cryptocurrency because the setup is not daunting at all. It's non-threatening. It's not complicated whatsoever. In fact, you don't even need the application. Um, you can actually start receiving and storing, cold storing offline, several cryptocurrencies, no app needed or anything. All you literally need to do is unbox it and then have someone scan the QR code on the front of your card and they're able to send you cryptocurrency. Now, more and more vendors are starting to accept cryptocurrency. There's actually a little rumor in the pipe right now. You didn't hear it here, but Amazon in the near future, i.e. beginning of next year, most likely will be accepting cryptocurrency for a good majority of their inventory. Elon Musk is also rumoring that they are going to accept Bitcoin for their cars again. That didn't last long, but yeah, again. So 
you know, cryptocurrency is definitely becoming a lot more mainstream. And with that, more people are getting into cryptocurrency, but yet there's a bit of a barrier to entry when it comes to writing down your recovery phrases and then plugging it into your PC and generating your initial key and whatnot. And I was kind of nervous about the fact that, you know, not your key, not your coin, you don't generate a private key. So technically the key that my private key that is underneath this sticker here, is generated in their warehouse. However, however, that and my passcode are generated in two different geographic areas that never communicate, never store any of the cryptocurrency. I did some research. I pulled out my shovel and did a little deep digging into the company. I have yet to find any, I have yet to find any leaks of anyone's PII or personal identifiable information. I have not found any hacks, uh, at least nothing that's known to the public, um, any leaks of information or anything like that. So thus far, it seems like these are actually a lot more secure than people are giving them credit for. I do have to say this would make a pretty bomb gift too. Especially like if even if somebody was not into cryptocurrency, but they got this and it's like an aluminum card and say you preloaded it with some Bitcoin, because again, even before you unbox it, as long as the QR code is exposed, you could put some Bitcoin on there for them and give them like, you know, give them, you know, a couple of Satoshis. Obviously, you're not going to give them a whole Bitcoin because as of now, uh, $40,676 for one Bitcoin. We'll get back into the 60K range. Don't you worry there, boys. But, um, you know, throw a couple of Satoshis on there, maybe 50, the equivalent of 50 US dollars or something on there. So what are the cons or areas of improvement with this cryptocurrency wallet? Well, first of all, I will say a lot of people that are uh, well versed in cryptocurrency kind of subscribe to that whole off the grid, you know, not governed by uh, any financial body or institution are still not going to like the fact that you cannot generate a unique code. And that kind of extends to the fact that your public key, which is on the front there, and that is how you're actually going to receive Bitcoin, never changes. So each time you complete a transaction on something like a Trezor, a Ledger, a SecUX, that public key for the transaction becomes attached to the blockchain permanently and then changes for a unique one-time use code. As where this device is static, it's always going to stay the same. Does that matter? Not really, no. In practice, that is never actually legitimately going to affect anything. Some of the deep-rooted conspiracy theorists, when they're not at flat earth conventions and anti-vax uh, meetings and whatnot, will try and say that you can basically can attach to one transaction and then see every piece of activity on that card. However, they'd still have to go through the blockchain security protocols and whatnot. So it'd be pretty hard for them to dive down the rabbit hole of all your transactions. And even if they do, I mean, there's not too much they can get from that besides the amount of cryptocurrency that was traded and the time. They're not going to have your location. There's no timestamps of, you know, what the cryptocurrency was used for or anything like that. So it's still pretty off the grid. So those two cons I mentioned as well, they're kind of one looped into one big old pickle there really aren't substantiated in my book. I've done a ton of research on them and it doesn't really seem to be a valid concern. Now, keep in mind, this is coming from somebody that has been mining cryptocurrency for around two and a half years, has been trading and stockpiling cryptocurrency for around four years with Coinbase and has, you know, $130 SecUX hard wallet and a Nano Ledger S. I think this is a lot more convenient than all those, not only in setup, but because this isn't electronic. It never needs any updates. It does not need to be powered to your PC ever. It does not need it really anything. It just the metal part will sit ow, sit in your safe and the actual uh, sticker. Again, you stick that to your credit card or something to have that QR code to send people to show people when they want to send you some Bitcoin. Just to be safe, I'll probably only store a few hundred dollars on this um, as, as they were only incepted in 2019. So they haven't really had a large length of time to be like, they've had, you know, 15 years of, of they've had 15 years of no incidences or anything like that. And I think that will alleviate people's worry over time too, is when they use this business model, this structure, this card for several years to come with no issues then people will be like, okay, I guess the ballet wallet is pretty safe. Oh yeah, one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, then I'll let you guys get out of here. I feel like I'm holding you hostage at this point. Let's pop that application open one more again. Going along with that ease of use and beginner friendliness, if that's even a word, uh, a lot of people that are new to cryptocurrency, they're not gonna have a Coinbase account or anything like that or any other exchange, which by the way, I do recommend Coinbase. I have a little link in the description below for some free BTC, but you can buy directly from this application here. If you go to the buy tab, you know, this is very, very user friendly interface here. Just tiles. Basically, people can be like, oh, cool. Bitcoin. Look at the current price. Yep. That matches what my ticker says right here. And that's in real time. So it is accurate. And then you are able to buy some crypto. And as it shows at the top there, it's going to that wallet address. That's my public key. So it just goes straight to your card. So you're able to buy and exchange very easily. So basically, this card is kind of like an all in one 
uh, crypto starter pack is how I see it. Uh, if you want something a little bit more fancy besides these aluminum cards, which do retail for $35, which again, a lot cheaper than something like a ledger or a Trezor. They do have a 24 karat plated gold card, which I have to say looks pretty sick. I might have to get my hands on that bad boy in the near future too. Um, and that would make a phenomenal gift for that, uh, that fancy pants in your life. I'm not wearing any pants right now. Something to, something to keep in mind about your favorite streamers and YouTubers. If you never see them from the waist down, do they have pants on? I definitely get a lot more agility and nimbility in my reviews. Pantsless. That is going to do it, guys. If you enjoyed this honest review of the Ballet Cryptocurrency Cold Storage Wallet, as well as the setup, if you want to call it that, it's literally... It's literally not much setup to it, but we went through the setup process. Give it a nice thick thumbs up on the like button will help this video to get seen by more people so this information can reach and assist them as well as I did go over a ton of the misconceptions around this card and I did a slew of research to basically debunk the worries or concerns that I had because obviously I'm not going to recommend a card to you guys. I'm not going to recommend a product to you guys that could potentially um, put your finances at risk. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover a lot of news in the gaming community and industry, as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I will see you guys tomorrow because I upload daily. And of course, since it is a product review, there are links to this product below, as well as their website if you want a little bit further information, because my word ain't good enough for you. You want to read a little bit about their company and what they do. All right, peace.